Well, today we've got rather a hilarious opinion piece, and <coughs> when you say the words hilarious and opinion piece, it is no doubt obviously come from the Daily Mail. And this one's come from Peter Hitchens, whose basically tagline for the articles basically states this. Get rid of guns, cars, and tasers. And we might just get real policemen. Now, he doesn't stop there. And we'll get to the other stuff that he goes through. But bear in mind, he says, get rid of guns. <coughs> Let's start with this. Gun crime is incredibly rare in the UK. It doesn't happen all that often. But we have certain detachments within the police. Uh, I believe they're called... I can't remember if they're called the Flying Squad still, or basically armed police. But he complains about the fact that uh, apparently they're everywhere. Well, the only places I know that armed police regularly guard are airports. Uh, they're outside uh, 10 Downing Street. And anyone potentially with a very high level risk threat to them. Uh, for example, in Barnsley, uh, the I believe it's the Minister for... or it was ex-Minister, I can't remember exactly now, but he's the ex-Minister from Northern Ireland, and back in the day, when the IRA were very active, he had a lot of, lot of death threats against him, so he got assigned uh, an armed police escort. Um... So obviously you've got to answer the question of this, what if, you know, criminals get a hold of guns and then start using the guns? How do the police respond to this? They can't if you take away the guns. So that's the first ridiculous point he comes up with. The next, tasers. Again, police don't actually carry tasers with them on a regular basis. Again, they only carry them um, where, they, where they think they're going into possible situation where they might need to use them. Again, they don't carry them on a regular basis. <coughs> and this is the best part, cars. He wants police to get rid of their cars. How do you intend, then, for example, police to respond to emergencies? Do you just want them to walk there on foot? I mean, what if, what if, for example, uh, a crime is happening and they need to get there then and there, and they haven't got car, you know, a car to get there? Are they just going to, you know, walk an hour on foot, and by the time the criminals are gone, or the crime has already been committed? This guy is absolute. Again, you're talking in another case of what if. Um, <coughs> a criminal stolen a car, or someone is driving dangerously and you know, endangering the public. How can they then stop this person without you know having a car? He goes another step further. Oh, get rid of the helicopters. Again, it's an in, it's probably in you know in modern policing an, an invaluable piece of modern equipment that they need. So. Uh, this guy is an absolute moron, but he doesn't, again, he doesn't stop there. Because in the article, and I'll leave a link to it, he basically says uh, they should also get rid of their stab-proof vests. So police should basically just have no protection from anything, you know, the criminal might wield against them. And I guarantee you... <coughs> um, I should have looked it up, but I guarantee you somewhere, there is probably a statistic somewhere that says, you know, because police adopted, you know, stab proof vest, it has saved so many constables' lives. And I guarantee you there are police out there that owe their survival to their stab proof vest. I guarantee it. Not only that, he also he's also advocating that police shouldn't go out in pairs. Because, heaven forbid, um someone apparently should come up and approach them. <coughs> um, but this has been something that's been understood since almost the beginning of policing. Policemen should go out in pairs so that ever in case they encounter a situation, a single policeman may often be the case that they are not enough. 
Hence why most of the time, in fact the vast majority of the time, policemen go out in pairs. So that they can watch one another's back, rather than just being one person having to deal with a group of criminals. Uh, this guy is an absolute moron when he wrote this opinion piece. And I and partly I can see why when you read the opinion of the piece, he's just at the moment he just seems to have been pissed off by police because he got pulled over. And he says that within the first moment of the article. And apparently taking all the all these the, these things away would we would get a better police force. No we wouldn't. We get a less effective police force. So thank you, Peter Hitchens, for a insight into your absolute ridiculousness and stupidity. And because I guarantee you no police officer in the UK would agree with you.